Good day and welcome to this online video tutorial. In this video, we will look at exporting a citation from an electronic database. Please remember that each database has its own layout and method to export the citations. Always look out for the words save or export, export citation, download citation or export when you have selected the article that you want. We will also look at attaching a PDF file and creating groups. Ok, let's start. Keep your endnote open, just minimize the program. We will download the citation from a database, namely EBSCOhost. Once you understand how to do it, you will be able to export citations to endnote from any database. Do a search in EBSCOhost Web, Business Source Premier. We've for example, we will do knowledge management, click on search and retrieve a list of articles. Once you have decided which article you want, you can either click on add to folder or select the title. A new page will open with more information about the article and here we have the export option at the right hand side. So you click on the export option, the new page will open where we can select the EndNote option. Click on Save and it depends on the settings of your PC but it will either import it directly into EndNote or it will download the file. Once the download is complete you can double click and it will automatically import into EndNote. In EndNote, you will see the reference under the heading Imported Reference. Every time that you download a new or export a new reference, it will re replace the previous reference. It all your references will always be under All References. Select the reference that you've just downloaded. And double click on it to open the worksheet. Change the reference type to electronic article. Make sure all the fields are in the correct format. The punctuation and the use of capital letters are correct. So if you want to change the capital letters, you can use the change case option. Add the date accessed. Today's date in the date accessed field according to day slash month slash year according to the TUT Harvard rules. Just take a look at all the fields that were also exported with the reference. Once you're sure everything is fine, click on file and save and close your reference. In your preview you will see what the reference will look like in your Word document. It is important to remember that you have to download the PDF full text document as well from the electronic database. Once you decide on the article that you want, you have to export the citation as well as download the PDF. So here we have our article, here we download the PDF and now we can attach it to our reference in EndNote. I've already downloaded this article. So if I go back to EndNote, select the reference on where you want to attach the article. On the right hand side, you click on the attach file icon. In the dialog box, you select the file the correct file you want to attach, click on open and the PDF document will now display on the right hand panel. When you want to look at the PDF document, you can open it. From here you can highlight, you can add comments, and you can work with your PDF document. Save the changes. And now you will see an icon displaying next to your reference indicating that there is a PDF document attached to this 
reference. We will now organize the references in groups. It is not necessary to create more than one EndNote library if you work on more than one project at a time. You create groups and add the articles in the relevant groups. Click on Groups, Create a group, or right click on My Group and Create a group. You can create as many groups as you want and rename it. Under the Groups, add References. Select this. Knowledge Management. And it will now copy the reference to your group. Everything will always be under All References, but it will also be displayed under your groups. You can now organize all your references according to your groups. In the next video, we will add the references to a Word document.